I just built this bunker, and these two people who have never met each other are going to attempt to live down here for the next 100 days. Take your blindfolds off. Hugo, this is Rain. Rain, Hi. this is Hugo. Nice to meet you. This is our first time ever meeting. And this is the nuclear bunker they will call home. Everything you would need to live for the next 100 days is in this bunker. Dang. You can even grow your own vegetables. Oh, cool. And if you come over here, you'll find your bedroom. All 40 feet underground. Wait, what? Oh my god. Above you is a bed. Nice. And here's another bed. And most importantly, over here is your half a million dollars. Dude, it's real. Well, it better be. If both of you stay in here for 100 days, you keep it. But if one of you leaves, you both get nothing. We are not leaving. 100 days, you could have half a million dollars. Wow. That's so much money. Okay, let's see if they survive 100 days. I can't believe we're actually here. Isn't that crazy? Like, this is our new house. I know. You're my roommate now. We're not gonna see the sun for 100 days. If we can grow our own food, we're gonna be set. So far, they seem to be getting along. But little did they know, that wasn't going to last for long. You're so stupid. You're a monster. I don't like you, dude. <laughs> hey, hey! We're getting ready for night one. Hopefully, we don't fall off tonight. Good night, Hugo. Good night, Rain. Good morning. I will say I don't like that I don't know what time it is. We didn't know each other this time yesterday. Oh, we didn't. And now we're just cooking breakfast. And even though these two literally just met, they're going to have to work together if they want to win half a million dollars. However, like always, there's going to be a twist. That does look a little sus, that little thing right there. Wait, yo, what is that? Why are these boxes locked? I don't know, man. There's something going on here that we don't know about. See this button right here? Don't touch it. It represents the twist of the century, but to find out about that, they're gonna have to wait until day 10. That is, of course, if they don't die from boredom first. What do you wanna do today? I'm gonna learn how to play guitar. Why do I need a radio when I can be the radio? What the heck? Over the next 100 days, I'm gonna learn Spanish. It's our third day in the bunker. Let's go. So we're gonna come out so ripped at the end of this. You're my new favorite human in this world. You're the coolest person I know down here. What? And by day four, the challenges of living with a stranger were becoming more apparent. I gotta tell you something. You were snoring bad last night, actually. Sorry. Some earplugs would be nice, but it's okay. If rain ever annoys me, this will just freak her out. Ew! This is our view of the outside. Ew! It's just dirt. So gross to look at. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. But since leaving would cost them half a million dollars, they were going to have to make the best of it. I made enough salad for both of us. I am so bored. Today, we're building a throne of canned food. I'm Hugo. I'm Rain. And, and this, this is, is Life, Life in the Bunker. <laughs> <laughs> and once they got to day 10, it was time for my special offer. <laughs> Whoa, it's Jimmy. All right, I think it's time I show you guys the twist of this video. There's two boxes on each side of the room. Yeah, we saw that earlier. What do you think's behind here? A button. Button. Oh my God. A hand scanner. And on the other side, another hand scanner. Oh, and one more thing. A one minute timer. Um, hey Chandler, do the thing. Finally. As you'll see, the timer is now counting down. If you let that timer ever hit zero, your money will instantly be engulfed in flames, incinerating every single dollar of that half a million. To stop your money from burning, you two are going to have to work together. It's pretty simple. Put your hands on those scanners. And there you go, the timer stopped. So, every single day, at some random time, this will happen. Every single day? Every day. What if I'm showering? I don't care the reason why. If you guys mess up just what? one time, both of you are leaving with nothing. Oh my gosh. See you in a couple days. <gasps> oh my God. I won't be able to sleep comfortably ever. Yeah. For 100 yeah. days. If we mess up one time, we're done. We should move our beds down here. Okay. I still feel this like weight on my chest. The button only goes off once a day, but it could be at any time. I'm not gonna lie. I am a lot more stressed out. Just having that lingering feeling that the button could be pressed at any moment. Oh my god, Ray, 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 go, 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 go. Oh god. Oh, that's scary. Oh. Dude, my heart just dropped to my toe. Oh. Well, it's not gonna go off again today, so. And after the daily alarm, Hugo and Rain spent their free time reading and learning to work together. This is Beast Boot Camp. Get down and give me two. And honestly, it seemed like they were on track to win this half a million dollars. But to test their strength as a team, one morning I visited them at 6 a.m. to press the alarm to see if I could trip them up. Oh my God, hurry! But they were still pretty fast. 
However, Hugo and Rain weren't just quick at my alarms, considering it only took them 13 days to find the surprise I had hidden under the floorboards. Is that a lot? There's no way we're supposed to know about this. And that thing up. <gasps> Whoa! No way! This is like a whole nother world. There's so much. And now that they're equipped with the world's best chocolate, Hugo and Rain were really starting to get into the groove of saving their money from burning every day. Let's do this. We got this, Rain. We got and this. With every day gone by, they were one day closer to winning $500,000. Please scare the alarm. The alarm Don't doesn't scare, scare us. us. From now on, every 10 days, I'll bring them a new offer. And since it's day 20, Nolan, can you hear us? Yeah. Press the button. You guys have gotten very good at this and literally do it in a couple seconds every time. Which makes me wonder, do you even need a minute anymore? Uh, yeah. We would like it. Yeah. We definitely... Yeah. Let's see how much you'd like it. I will add an extra $50,000 to your prize pool for a grand total of $550,000 if you let me shrink this one minute timer down to 30 seconds. Really think about it because the next 80 days, you will only have 30 seconds to place both your hands on these. If you miss once, $550,000 burns instead of $500,000. Let's think about this. This is a lot of money on the line. Now we're about to shrink the timer and make everything harder. Is 50,000 worth it? I don't know. We've been here in less than 10 seconds every time. I think we can do it. We should do it. Let's go. Let's do, you it. do it. We're doing it. It will now permanently rest at 30 seconds. Nolan! Here comes the money! As promised, here's your $50,000. Hopefully it doesn't get you out. I'm not gonna lie, that may have been a stupid decision. No, you can't say that now. Actually, it was a phenomenal decision. You see, not once did they even come close to failing. Each day, getting to the hand scanner in under 10 seconds. Ray, we got this alarm thing in the back. Now it's like, don't get too bored in here. So, with day 30's offer, let's see if we can take the difficulty up a notch. It's day 30, and I have another offer. Instead of telling you the offer, I'm gonna show you. Press the button! Oh, it's quiet. Mm-hmm. That's my offer. $50,000 will be added to the prize pool, bringing it up to $600,000, but there will be no noise when the alarm goes off every day. I'll give you guys some time to discuss it. Yeah. We won't get the alarm back. Like, what if this is the last money offer? We got $550,000 that we've been able to protect so far. Is that not enough? Mm. We would have to take shifts from now on until the challenge is done. Do you want to do that? Oh, dude, it's so much money. All right, guys, it's time to decide. Do you want $50,000 added to your prize pool if you let me turn off the sound? As much as we would like it, we can't. We're passing. Oh, really? Yeah, you can both buy Teslas. We can already buy Teslas, though. You can buy more Teslas. I only need one car. All right, I'll see you in, I don't know, sometime in the future. See you later, maybe. I can't believe we said no. Jimmy just offered me $50,000. Who says no to that? Right. Saying no to that much money hurts. He'll come around to it. He'll get over it. I think we made the right decision. So, in an attempt to recover their relationship, they moved all their food supplies out of the way to paint a mural for their new team name, the Sewer Rats. Dang, I crushed that. You're welcome. But it wasn't enough, because Hugo was still frustrated that he was doing most of the chores, such as feeding the fish and cleaning their tank. This is gross. Oh my God. And maintaining the garden so they never ran out of fresh vegetables. Yeah, good job, good job. What would I do without Hugo? Die. And on top of that, Hugo had done most of the cooking himself. And since they were eating three times a day, that meant he had cooked over 100 meals for the both of them. Oh my God, you're like my own personal Waffle House. Don't disrespect me like that. And while the tension was continuing to grow between them, my day 40 offer wasn't going to make things any easier. And before we go in the bunker, it's time to bring out the sucker. Nolan? <laughs> I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> the money sucker. Oh, okay. To kick off day 40, hey Chandler, do the thing. Chandler and Tariq are currently above ground, vacuuming up $100,000, which you have not lost. We're doing it! It's sucking. And for the next 10 minutes, if one of you leaves, you can walk away with $100,000 they just vacuumed out. And the other person won't be eliminated. But you would be abandoning your teammate. To be isolated in this bunker to win the other 450 grand. If one of you want to leave, now's the chance. 
Maybe I could leave. I do everything around here. I do all the cooking. I take care of the plants. I even entertain you with how bad I am at the guitar. I think I might leave you. No, you can't. I think I am. We were supposed to be sewer rats together. We can do this, dude. Where's your sewer rat mind, dude? If you want to say yes to the next offer, I'll say yes. Whatever Hugo wants, I'll shake on that. I feel like he's still gonna take the ladder. All right, is either one of you getting a hundred thousand dollars stuffed in the back of your car right now? I'm gonna say no. I'm sorry. I'm staying! Yeah! I'll go put the hundred grand back in the pot. See you in 10 days then. And even though they ultimately decided to stay together, Hugo's hesitation was testing the bond of the sewer rats. It almost felt like when you're getting broken up with. Kind of helpless. Should I have let him just leave? Hugo, what's your deal? You are a little weird. It was just a little too basic for my liking. I'm so okay with being basic. I don't like being basic. Okay, but that's obnoxious. You're so stupid. What did you just say? Dude, don't yell at me like that. That is insane. I don't know if they're making it. Over the next four days, Hugo and Raina barely even spoke to each other, which makes for terrible content. So I decided to shake things up in the bunker by introducing a new variable. What? That looks like another scanner. Are they bringing in another person? That is like my worst nightmare. I don't want to trust anybody else. But I guess we're going to find out really soon. Very soon. How's it going? Hey, Jimbo. Hey. This ladder never gets less sketchy. I brought you to a friend, okay? Close your eyes. Someone who knows a thing or two about living in unusual places. I brought Ryan Trahan. Yay! Okay. You're a lot shorter in person. Not cool. That's the wrong foot to get started on. So, he's gonna be spending the next 50 hours in the bunker with the two of you. This is crazy. <laughs> now that you're a contestant. Oh! That was not supposed to happen. You have to play by the same rules as Hugo and Rain. I'm a liability. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. You'll need to switch into this. <sighs> you look sick! In exactly 50 hours is the 50 day mark. Ryan's gonna be with you guys until then. Have fun! Wait, Jimmy, no! <laughs> Enjoy Ryan! Hey, guys! Hey! Hugo? Hugo. I'm Ryan. Ryan Alicious. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, buddy. New roommates. New roommates. <sighs> Guys, I'm shaking. I'm actually nervous right now. To be honest, I probably should have checked Ryan's bag because... I brought you something. Stop it! Beyonce! Ah! It's her album! Oh it's God. her album, dude! It's time for the first button press. But I'm going to wait until they're very far away from the hand scanners to press it. I'm using the restroom real quick. Okay. She uses the restroom all the time. I genuinely cannot fathom that they have been here for almost 50 days already. Hugo and Rain do not really like each other, and it's actually a threat to them finishing this 100 day challenge. You guys spend most of your time during the days kind of like not talking? Yeah. 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 After spending a whole day with them, I realized the entire reason that I'm here is to make sure that Hugo and Rain get to day 100. So today, we're doing a friendship test. A friendship uh -oh. test. The first test is a 60 second stare into each other's souls. Oh my god. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Success. Oh, yay. This is the final question. Rain. Why do you want to win for Hugo? This is such a crazy opportunity for him, and he's the biggest fan of Mr. Beast. He's gotta win. They picked like such a good person for this video, so. That's so true. Hugo, why do you want to win for Rain? I know how much her family helps her and literally giving her the ability to do anything. She really wants to repay it to her parents. I want to help her really better their life. That's it, I'm about to cry. Dang, man. If you guys can just remember, you're doing it for yourselves, but also for each other. other. Yeah. 100%. Then this money is yours. Friendship test complete. Thank you. You passed. With Ryan around, it seemed like things were better than ever. And when it was finally day 50, Jimmy. Whoa, we're having a party. They even made a chocolate cake using Feastables, which obviously tasted phenomenal. Happy 50 day to you. You guys are both incredible human beings. Come here. Oh! 
<laughs> Unfortunately, Ryan, your 50 hours are now over. I must escort you out of here. The first thing I see out of a apocalypse bunker is Nolan's face. And he almost turned back around. <laughs> and now that Ryan has left, what do you think your day 50 offer is? I personally think since we're halfway done, you're gonna cut the time in half. It's not far off. My day 50 offer is, for every second you take off this timer, I'll add $5,000 to the prize pool. I like that. That's the offer. You have 10 minutes to decide. I'm thinking either 10 or 15. That's too risky. You said I can say yes to any challenge I wanted to if I stayed. 10 seconds down? I'm cool. Let's cut that 10. What are you guys thinking? We're cool with cutting down 10 seconds. I'll go get the money. Thank you, Jenny. There is your money. 600000 And now that I've thrown away another $50,000, I'm going to once again leave you in this bunker. I'll see you in 10 days. All right, see you, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. Now it's day 51. It's the first morning without Ryan. It's so quiet down here now. Down. <laughs> So we just experienced our first 20 second alarm. It was a little scary actually to see the alarm down in the teens. It was scary. Without Ryan bringing peace to the bunker, Hugo and Rain's relationship was beginning to unravel again. I wanna make it very clear, Hugo. We don't have a charger for this thing. I'm gonna be the only one to drain this battery. I don't get one song. I've given you everything. You get some of my pineapples, you get all the coffee. You're eating my jam right now. Okay, okay. Not like I put my hand on the other scanner to get her $300,000. And in an already compact bunker, Hugo needed to find ways to make space for himself. There's some storage space in the floor, and I turned it into a little vibe cave. No girls allowed. Got my snacks, my books, and my couch. Painting with music feels amazing. <laughs> You want to come hang out in my vibe cave? Rain. What the heck? And as the days went on, the tension between Hugo and Rain was causing them to make careless mistakes. We'll feed these fish. Morning, fishes. Come on. Time to eat. way too long. I'm not about to lose $300,000 because Rain doesn't have her head in the game. I'm starting to forget what my normal life was like. Waking up in the bunker, it's like my normal life doesn't seem like it's a thing anymore. It just feels like it's a never ending cycle. But no matter the case, Hugo and Rain were continuously able to prevent me from igniting their money. So come day 60, I wanted to see if I could at least ignite their greed. Let's see who gets to press the button. I win! No, I win! Oh, jeez! I need to drop something. Do you mind moving really far away? Oh, nice. Sorry about that. For my day 60 offer, I will give you this $50,000 if you let me set off the alarm three times a day instead of one for the remainder of the challenge. Oh my God. I'll let you two converse. Dude, I really want to do that. It would be cool to do it. But I don't know how likely it is that they just go off back to back like this. That would be yeah. ideal. All right. What are we doing with this $50,000? Am I adding it to your bank accounts or not? No. no. Really? Take my money and leave. I think we made the right choice. We've been pretty uncomfortable, but we don't want to be uncomfortable for too long. 40 days is still a long time. And considering they arrived at my bunker over two months ago, by the time day 61 rolled around, spring was in full bloom, and so was the restlessness. I'm kind of tired of like waking up and staying in one space all day. It's now our new normal, and it's now no longer fun. You just don't want to read anymore. Don't feel like journaling. I don't feel like painting. All the things that used to be fun are just boring now. Having shared the same space together, for 60 plus days, Hugo was now becoming addicted to the alone time he was spending in his vibe cave. I'm gonna go hang out in the vibe cave and read. You've been reading all day, Hugo. I think Rain's trying to get a little upset with the amount of reading I do, but I don't want to go up there and do the puzzle anymore. What? He stopped reading for two seconds? I think I'm gonna hide his books. Rain needed to take it into her own hands if she wanted to gain back Hugo's attention. Did you hide me books? Did I hide your books? No. Now I know you're messing with me because I have the other stack of books right there. I thought they were over there. 
Like, think about it. <laughs> She's starting to gaslight me now. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm pretty upset about it. You started thinking back to Jimmy's offer on day 40. I could have taken that, but I said no because I wanted more money. So just knowing that I have no other choice now because I decided to stay, I don't know if I can make it. After hearing the regret in Hugo's voice, I had an offer on day 70 that would be too perfect for him to pass up. But as always, first things first, we need to press the button. Ooh, you closed it. Oh, what did you, you turn do? the lights off. <laughs> Good. Hey. How are you? Before I could reveal the day 70 offer, I need to split you up. Hugo, head upstairs. Rain, go buy the money. Time to set up the wall. These curtains are stressing me out. What's going on? What's going to happen? Hey, Carl, go ahead and suck the money up. Ugh, sucking 200 grand. We are currently sucking up $200,000 out of the $600,000 prize pool. And similar to one of my previous offers, if one of you leaves, you get to walk away with 100 grand. I think I might leave you. No, you can't. One of you can leave and go home right now. You brought the offer back? Yes, but this time you can walk away with a guaranteed 200 grand without eliminating the other person. Okay. But unlike my day 40 offer, I separated you guys so that this time she can't stop you from leaving if you still want to. That's spicy. Oh my God, Jimmy, why you put me through this? You would be doing Rain a favor because now instead of competing for 300 grand, which is what you both would make if you chose to stay, she's competing for 400 grand. So by leaving, you're actually helping her. I do give her 100 grand. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like he might leave. I don't know if I can forgive myself if I said no to 200K. And I ended up losing this challenge. And while they're deciding on whether or not they want 200 grand, I'm gonna tell you guys about Monster Hunter Now. What? Monster Hunter Now is a free to play mobile game from Niantic, kind of like Pokemon Go. Does that make either of you wanna play it? This is awful timing for this. Come on. And to really showcase this game, I need to go to the surface. Monster Hunter Now encourages you to go outside and find the monsters. Let's say you're walking a dog. You can hunt monsters. Or you're buying feastables. You can still fight monsters. Or I'm on a date. That's not realistic. But the fighting monsters is. Monster Hunter Now also gave me my own in-game quest available for the next 30 days. Plus, Mr. Beast sword, shields, and other in-game items. Click the link in the description or scan this QR code to download Monster Hunter Now and use code Mr. Beast Hunt to get special items for free. My quest is only available for the next 30 days, so you need to make sure you hurry. I almost left it 100K. This is double that. And remember, if you don't step out, you still have one month left in this bunker. Do you want to see your family? Do you want to see the sun? And more importantly, do you care about the other person in the bunker and want them to make an extra 100 grand? Five, four, three, two. Last chance for a guaranteed $200,000. One. We're coming down. There's no way he's still over there. I'm now gonna pull down these curtains and reveal if someone left. Neither of you left. What? And since neither of you left, here's your $200,000 back. I'll see you in 10 more days. I just said no to $200,000. I'm amazed you said no. I hope you don't regret it, because I don't want to hear it. They may have stayed together, but the money was the only thing keeping them here. I don't really care to be doing this anymore. Sometimes the hardest part of the challenge isn't even the alarm. It's living with another person especially when they're so demanding. Would you mind making me chicken? Would you make me scrambled eggs? Do you think when you're done, you can make me like a little bit of eggs and chorizo? It just sucks now. I'm just tired of doing all the same thing every day. I don't mind helping Rain, but this is like too much. If Jimmy came down here and offered me 10K to leave right now, I'd probably just dip. Spending all this time with Rain was starting to get to Hugo. And when their plants started literally rotting, Rain was hesitant to get her hands dirty. Yeah, if you just get that nasty water out. Well, you're not gonna help her? Nah, you got this. Thanks, Rain. I'm gonna do cartwheels. Oh, this smells. So, I don't know why, but I asked Rain to give me a haircut. And of course, she messed that up too. Destroying Hugo's hair was the last straw, and his morale was at an all-time low. I think I wanna leave. Go ahead. The money's gonna burn, and we'll both win nothing.
I could tell that they were struggling. So let's see if my next offer cheers them up or makes it way worse. I'm gonna ask you to a question, and if you answer correctly, I will not press the button for the next 10 days. You'll have 10 days off. 10 okay. days free would be crazy. But if you answer incorrectly, I'm gonna shave five seconds off the timer. Ooh, I think I know exactly what you're about to ask. The question is, which tastes better, a Feastables chocolate bar or a Hershey's chocolate bar? Pretty obvious. Feastables. She's right. This is great. That was easy. For the next 10 days, I'm not gonna press the red button. You guys should catch up on sleep because day 90 won't be so easy. All right, right, the old... Oh my God. I'll see you too then. Honestly, we can just cover this up. Dude, you're right. See you in 10 days, timer. And so, despite all the tension that's been building up between them, removing the alarm might have been the exact thing that these two needed to start getting along. Since we don't have an alarm, I can do whatever I want. So that's what I'm doing. On the menu today, donuts. Rain said she would never ever cook or bake. My roommate's over there making some donuts right now, dude. And they look great. Thanks, Hugo. All right, here are the donuts. Taste test. Feastables chocolate covered donut. Oh. Oh my god, Feastables is so good. And since Feastables single-handedly saved their friendship, the rest of the 80s went by like a breeze. And so they decided to use their extra time from each day to prepare for what was to come. What we should be doing is preparing for day 90. Let's get this game plan together and let's make sure we win. I'm gonna have Hugo time me running from different areas in the bunker to the hand scanner using the stopwatch on the MP3 player Ryan gave us. Go. 2.61. That's, okay, okay. Go. 4.09. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So under five. Go. 3.87. Oh. 3.57. Okay. 3.39. Okay. Day 90 to 100, it's gonna be war. Go hard or go home. I'm gonna go hard because I'm not going home. The timer comes back tomorrow on day 90, but after all this training, we got this. Time to take the sign down. Oh, there she is. It's officially day 90, which means it's time for the first button push in over 10 days. The button pressing's back. Did you miss the button? Surprisingly a little bit. Okay, coming down. Here is $100,000 to add to your prize pool. And I'll give it to you right now, increasing your balance to $700,000. And in exchange for this money, I'm actually gonna give you more time on the counter, raising it from 20 seconds to one entire minute. However, once you scan your hands each day, the timer will not reset. And that one minute will have to last you for the last 10 days of the challenge. Okay. We'll give you one minute to think on it. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? It's kind of scary, but... This is a lot of money. Our math is there. We've averaged less than five seconds every time. Every time. All in. All right. Go hard or go home. Go hard or go home. Jimmy, we made our decision. All right. What is your decision? We're going to do yes. it! You sure? Yes. yes. No taxis, backsies. Adding it to the money pile. Yes! Ah! Go hard or go home. This Jimmy, is what it is. Yeah. I'll see you in 10 days. Since we officially have $700,000 on the line in only 60 seconds, it's time we redecorate a little bit. We've set up the bunker so we don't have to move more than a foot away from the scanners. We even brought all the food we need over here. We've been in here for 90 days, and it all comes down to this. Let's see how we turn off the alarm from our new seating area. Beep, 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 beep. 1.11. That's crazy. Every second literally counts. And terrified that we would press the button, these two waited by the hand scanners literally all day. And so of course, when we pushed the button, they were ready. Oh, let's go. Holy. That was their fastest one ever. Yes. And so they went to bed. But little did they know, it was now past midnight, which meant it was a new day. And all we had to do was wait for them to fall asleep. Ah. Ah. They were literally asleep and it took them two seconds. They didn't fall for it, but I knew that at some point they were gonna have to use the bathroom. So I waited for the moment when they got as far away from the scanners as possible. All right, right, the old... Nice. Nice, dude, you came down there flying. <gasps> All right, I think we can afford one bathroom break. Um, excuse me. Yes. Get back over here. Don't you dare. Get back over here, right. Don't you take a step further, Hugo. Hugo! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! 
That took five seconds. Dang it, that's slow. You're not allowed to use the restroom anymore. I really want that to be the only five second alarm that we get from now on. So no using the restroom tomorrow? We're just gonna have to hold it until the alarm goes off. I'm going to paint a line on the ground so that way he knows his limits. How far he can go, how far he can't go. Here's the line. Rain's bathroom rule might have been intense, but for the next few days, the rule actually kept Hugo on track for every day's alarm. But on day 98, Hugo started slipping into old habits. How long did that take? 6.01. Hugo, you went over the six second time limit. I mean, I ran as fast as I could. The longest amount of time that we've taken to turn off these alarms is because you're in the bathroom. Do you not see a problem? Do you not see Am it? Am I no longer allowed to use the bathroom ever? Hugo, don't play with it. But I'm not playing with it. I'm just peeing. And through all the tension, Hugo took the next opportunity to speak his mind. Rain showering, and this is the last time I have time to tell you how I feel about her. Unfiltered. It obviously hasn't been easy because she was a stranger at first, and we are two completely separate people. Seriously, I wouldn't choose another partner to do this with. I'm grateful I was put in here with someone who wants to win as bad as she does, and someone that really pushes me to just be the best every day. Hey, dude, that was nice of you. Oh, well, you weren't supposed to hear that. I really appreciate that though like we have gone a lot closer throughout this challenge and both of our just determination to win yeah like as much as like you know at the beginning we we're like mm, like brushing each other off mm -hmm. like not really listening mm -hmm. once we got to know each other it yeah. wasn't us wanting to just win anymore it was like I'm gonna win this for you and you're gonna win this it for, for you me. happy day 100 I'm heading down for the last time unless someone nukes our country 100 days all for this. You both ready? Dude, yeah. We're ready. You sure? We're ready. Go! Yes! Press the button! Dude. A final ready? button press. All right, y'all take a little too long. You ready? Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Hey, come on, come on. This is crazy. This is our first time seeing the sun in a hundred days. Oh, yes, guys. Oh my God, I've missed you guys so much. As promised, here's your 350 grand. And Ray, here is your 350 grand. I'll see you around.